Hey Product Hunt, I'm Daniel. I'm one of the co-founders of Onlook and we're just a couple hours away from launching on Product Hunt. But before we launch, I wanted to say thank you. Thank you for all your support as well as thank you to the over 100 open source contributors that made this version of Onlook possible. We couldn't have done it without you. Now I'm about to show you how you can build your own version of the Product Hunt experience in Onlook. So let's dive in. I'm gonna show you how you can prototype the Product Hunt experience in Onlook, the cursor for designers. We're going to go from a simple idea to a couple prompts to have a foundation to work with. Then I'm going to show you some of the tools in the editor to make it really easy to style, move things around, and use the canvas to your advantage. Then I'll show you some tricks about how to use notes, as well as bring in Claude code to build even faster in Onlook. So let's start. So I'm asking Onlook to make a clone of the Product Hunt user interface and use 2010 Zero Startups as the placeholder content for products. Okay, great, and here we are. This is a really solid foundation to work with here. I'm gonna go into preview mode and just scan through and see what it made. It's missing some functionality and could use a little bit of cleanup. So I'm gonna use the AI as well as some of Onlook's styling and code editing features to just make it look a little bit better. Let's start by adding a different font here. Okay, so I added the font fig tree. It's a little bit more interesting. I'm going to use this styles bar up here to customize the site a little bit. Change the font weight, maybe a little too light. I can also edit the text directly. And if I want to move things around within components, I can actually use the typical hotkeys you would expect in a design tool. So in this case, I'm going to move the comments down here to this, this tab bar over here. So I'm just going to do command X. I'm then going to group this, check my layers panel over here, select the higher layer, so that then I can paste in what I had essentially copied. Now this layer doesn't have flex box associated with it, which is why the comments were pasted down here. So I'm gonna add that up here. Great, and now I'm gonna add a little bit of a margin to the side here. I think the site could use some icons, so I'm just gonna ask Onlook to help add some icons to the site. Let's start with maybe the uh, product categories and trending products sections. That looks a little bit better. Let's also add icons to these, uh, these product cards. I'm just gonna select a couple, but it understands the context of the page, so it'll understand what I'm trying to do. That looks a little bit cleaner. In Onlook, you can use the layers panel and the outlines to understand what are components and what are just normal elements on the page itself. The great thing about Onlook is that everything is tied one-to-one -one with code. So if I'm curious about where this element is coming from, I can click this button and it will open up the code panel. All the information I really need, and if I need to, I can edit this directly. The benefit of having this canvas alongside code is that I can click through other elements on the page and learn how the structure of the page is built. So I can edit this directly. Hit save and it will automatically update. Of course, we have all the styling features you would expect, such as color selection, image fill, border, border color, radius, flex box, fonts, and more. And it might be fun to add a little bit of a, a banner on the side over here. There we go, there's our banner ad. One of the benefits of Onlook is that we have the full context of your project. So unlike other design tools, we can do a lot of really creative things with this. To show you some of the capabilities of Onlook, I'm gonna show you a trick by using notes. So we're going to create a new page here, and we'll call it notes. I'm going to duplicate this page. And change the notes. This is a blank page. I could just double click and say, here are my to do's. But rather than write out all my to do's to build this prototype, I'm going to ask Onlook to help me out. I'm asking Onlook to write me a plain text to do list here for what I need to do to improve my product hunt mockup and make it ready to share with my team. Keep it simple. So here's my to-do list. 
These are some pretty great ideas here. And if I want to, I can always add some more. One thing I noticed is that on mobile, this nav bar is not really the best. And so I added it to my to-do list over here. But I'm going to ask Onlook to just build it for me. I have two windows here. I'm going to change this to a mobile size. And look at that. We have a mobile nav bar. So the notes are a great way to track what you need to get done and also work alongside the AI to build what you need to build. Something that is lacking from the product hunt experience is the ability to add in new products. And so I'm going to use Claude code and show you how that works in Onlook to actually build that functionality out. To access Claude code, you'll need to go sign up for it and, and log in. I already have it set up with this project. I'm going to ask it to add in a modal that'll allow me to append new products to the list of products that are launched. Make a button next to the popular slash newest filter that allows me to submit a new product, fill out a modal, and then append that product to the list of products. It seems like it may have built it, but not actually added it to the page. Okay, now that we did all that work, let's submit our product. And there we go, there's Onlook, the Christopher Designers. Let's add some upvote functionality. Awesome, great. Seems like we can upvote it as much as we want, but that's for another thing that we can fix. So we went from an idea to a great mock-up base that we could then style and customize to make our own. Uh, we used the layers panel to make sure that what we were selecting was precise. We used hotkeys just like a design tool would to move elements around. Uh, we opened up code and edited it directly and saw it update in real time. I also showed you the notes feature so we could track our to-dos, how you can bring Claude code in to help build much faster. But that just scrapes the surface of what we have in Onlook. Some of the other features include a brand panel where you can manage all your styles and colors pages, images, the ability to add your colleagues to these projects by inviting them via email, the ability to go back in history to restore from a more stable build if you need to. And when you're ready to share your work with the world, you could publish your site to an Onlook domain or add your own custom domain and update directly from Onlook. It's been over a year since we started working on this version of Onlook, and we are so, so grateful to the over 100 open source contributors who put so much effort and energy into delivering this incredible design and development experience. We've never seen anything like this, truly a design tool that is one-to-one -one with code. If you wanna be a part of our mission and contribute to the project, please don't hesitate to reach out. We have an awesome Discord community and we're open source. So feel free to submit pull requests or issues or just jump in the discussions and throw some ideas around on what you'd like to see in Onlook. We can't wait to see what designers and developers build together with Onlook the cursor for designers.